Do you see this coat? Do you see this coat? This coat eats! This coat eats! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yinka, you can call me YK, you can call me absolutely nothing at all. You already see the title, it's a haul. So you know what we're about to do? Let's get into it. All right, so starting off strong, we have this sweater from Source Unknown. If you've been on this channel, you probably know what's in this little package right here. Um, I already have two sweaters, the same exact structure, just different colors, and I figured I would add another color because I saw it in chocolate and uh, I like me some chocolate. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can you see this? It's in this really oh, rich chocolate. I hope it's coming across on camera, but like, do you see this? Do you see like against the brownness of my skin with this hair? Oh my God. I'm filming videos in this, of course. This is just, oh, I don't, I can't. It's not also like not even heavy. So you know how like certain like knits, they're chunky, but also like they're heavy. This is not a heavy knit. It's just chunky, but it's not heavy at all. And it's just, it's such good quality. It's such good quality. Um, you're supposed to dry clean this. I tend to put it in the wash, but I'm, yeah, I'm not. These are like 168. Um, I think for Black Friday, like the entire site was like 50% off, but I got this before Black Friday, so I didn't really get the sale. But if there's still things on sale, probably gonna have like a Christmas sale as well. So just keep your eyes out on Source Unknown. Um, they're probably like the only brand that I know that does like a really good like money off. Everyone's doing 30%. 30% not gonna do anything for me, okay? I can't wait to style this. I really can't. This is just so perfect. Like I could have worn this today for this video and it, it would be given because like my makeup is chocolate, my hair is like an ombre chocolate. <laughs> just, are you gagged? I'm gagged. All right, okay. so next up are these jeans that I got from H&M. I got a, quite a few things from H&M actually. Um, I st I'm still waiting for one more order to come in, but I got that during Black Friday, so that's probably not gonna get into like another week or so. So I figured I would just film this video in lieu of, of what's coming, but essentially it's just like turtlenecks, so. No one wants like a turtleneck video. Unless you do, then let me know. Um, so essentially, these jeans are pretty much these jeans that I'm wearing right now. They're just like these long leg jeans. Um, high-waisted, like so. I don't know if you guys can tell. But like high-waisted and yeah. They're not obviously like, I don't know, like Levi's. I think Levi's are kind of like the pinnacle for like really high quality jeans. These are like no Levi jeans. However, one of my favorite jeans from this year was from H&M and I was like, I, I'm on the hunt for something like that. And like, it's not like super crazy quality either. It's just the way it fit and like just how well structured it was. And I'm not talking about anything like extraordinary right away, but it was just, I just really liked the fit of it. And so I've just been buying a lot of H&M jeans lately. That's pretty much what, but um, yeah, so they, these are pretty much these. I just got, I think I got them like in twos. I don't know why I did. Now in retrospect, I don't need to. I have enough jeans and I'm not, I'm a jean wearer if I really like jeans, if, or if I'm in a mood to wear it. I'm not really a jean wearer if I don't want to. So is it giving? I don't know. They're all the way to my ankle. For reference, I'm like five foot five and a half. They're about on a good day. I cling on to that five foot five because I need it. I feel like they're not thick enough, so you might want to wear like tights underneath these for winter time, but for summertime, they're breathable, they're like loose, and um, the material is not too thick, so like you'll be able to survive in the summertime in these jeans. So yeah, let's move on. I still have like a bunch of things from H&M. Probably, I think also another pair of jeans actually. Let's, let's, these like baggy jeans I got, so like, yeah. Also from H&M and I kind of just wanted something that was like baggy, also like 90s. If you know me, IRL, I wear a lot of like baggy clothes. Now, is it because I've gained weight? Probably, but no, I, I yes, but also um, in actuality, even at my skinniest, I was still wearing really big clothes. It's just my thing, it's, uh, it's, it's a thing, it's my thing. I like baggy clothes versus like, you know, um, clothes that cinch you in. I just never feel comfortable. I've never felt comfortable enough for like, I mean, I'm not saying I've never worn those, but I just don't. My, at my most comfortable, it's usually baggy jeans every day, every day, okay? Um, but yeah, and so I just wanted something that was like really baggy and just had like these cut, cutouts because I don't think I have, 
at least nothing in my closet that currently fits. And I think one of my one of like my tips for like saving money on like clothing is to buy clothes for like what you like what your size is right now. My, obviously, I'm like on a weight loss journey, but I'm like, OK, am I going to buy my size smalls right now? No. Was I size small before? Yes. But for me to get to back to that point, it's going to it's, it's a journey. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And what are the chances, especially like the holidays are here? I'm not going to like not eat because I'm trying to lose weight. So it's just it's a thing. So I was like, you know what? While we're like biding my time trying to like lose weight and everything, how about I just buy something that fits me right now that I can enjoy? And then when I, you know, when I lose weight, I could just take it to the tailor and have them like at least um, cinch it into like a more comfortable size for my smaller self. So I was like, you know, what? I just I just need something that's baggy, but also like comfortable and has like ripped details. So. I got these. Um, I can obviously these are like very casual, so I will be styling them in a very casual manner as well. So yeah, that's these jeans. Um, I'll pop up a picture of like what it looks like on the website. I would do a try on, but girl, it is hot in here. There's like so many lights. <laughs> There's so many lights on. If I did, I will be drenched in sweat. Okay, okay. All right. So, but these are these. Um, I forget how much these were to be honest, but. Let's move on to the next couple of things. Um, I got like sweatpants and sweatshirts. They're not really memorable, but I'll show you guys anyway. Actually, I bought two sets of sweats. So like this gray pair and a black pair, but the exact, they're the exact same thing. So I'm not gonna show both. It's just, imagine this, but in black, okay? For me in sweats, I feel like, especially for like fall, winter, I think every winter actually, I always like re-up on like sweats for some reason. One, cause it's cozy. Two, I travel more often than not in sweats because airplanes are not comfortable um obviously if you're in first class and business class it probably is i've never flown either i would love to fly either at some point in my life but pending that happening um sweatpants they make the flights more comfortable for me so that's why i tend to get them and i am that obnoxious person who every single time i get like the largest sizes in sweats why i don't know i just think they're more cozy the bigger they are, okay? Bigger the sweats, the more cozy I feel. I think I got these in like, I don't know, 10 XLs. I'm not, I'm not kidding, ouch, you know. No, this is just an XL and this is an XXL. Yeah, I guess it's an XXL. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I know people are like, but you shouldn't be buying it for actual people who need it. I know, and I apologize. However, it's just more comfortable for me, selfishly. Okay, sweatpants, comfortable. Um, I know I'm a fashion girl, so I'm not supposed to be like showing you guys sweatpants because it's like tacky or whatever, but let's be serious. I am a realistic person. I'm going to buy things that I'm actually going to wear. And it's very disingenuous if I buy something and then like I just never wear it because then why did you buy it, girl? It's called wasting money. In this economy, I don't think so. So yeah, this is, this is me. This is real. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. If you know, you know. Okay. Anyway. All right. So that's H&M. Um, moving on to some bits and bobs that I got from Mango. I think you guys will be very, very delighted with these. So just, I hope you still have like your cup of coffee and your tea because it's about to get spicy. It's going to be spicy. Okay. I think I only have like three more, three more, I think three more items, but these three items, I promise you, they, they hit, they hit, they hit. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. When it comes to like shoes i think it's no secret on this channel that your girls flat feet flat feet flat feet however these shoes they're low enough i mean obviously it depends on the day if my feet's feeling great i can wear these if, they pro if they're not feeling great probably not um i have worn these once already but these are like a mew mew dupe i forget what these are called um i think for like mew mew it's just like the patent leather like kitten heels and these are pretty much patent leather kitten heels um from Mango, these, I saw them and I was like, I need to have them. They have it in gray and the gray has sold out. It hasn't come back into stock. I've put my name on the wait list. It ain't coming back. So the minute um, this came back in stock, I was literally at work. I was like, pause, purchase at the cart, buy now. And literally perfect, perfection, perfection, like, It's giving what it is to give. Obviously red is like the color for the season, cherry red, but I feel like you can literally wear this like in season for fall, winter. You can also wear it, honestly, you can wear it in the summertime. I feel like this is one of those colors, especially like just the structure of the shoe and how low it is. You can kind of just win 
at any season of the year and you'll be fine and no one's gonna look at you crazy because you know how certain things like you can't wear in the summertime or in the spring because then people start looking at you like girl why are you wearing a pair of doc martens in the middle of summer why are you doing that but like these right here right here no one's gonna, no one's gonna question you these in fall no one's gonna question it in the winter just put on tights no one's gonna no one's gonna no one's gonna question it so I feel like these are one of those shoes that you can honestly get away with every single time, every single season, and no one can say anything because they just work, they eat. And I feel like you can wear this as a color block moment. You can wear an all red outfit, don't do that. Um, <laughs> I would not wear an all red outfit. I feel like, well, uh, maybe I would, depends. So never say never. But essentially you can kind of, you can get away with a lot in these shoes. So I think these are great, they're perfect. They're low enough, so if you're someone who doesn't like wear high heels, it's just, I don't know, like two inches, I don't know, 1.5, something like that. It's not high at all. So I feel like this will be great. I don't know if they're still in stock. I'm sorry. I've, a lot of these I've bought, I've had for like maybe a month, over a month. So I just never got around to filming these. And I was also expecting a lot of things. So I, I just wanted to do like one big collective haul versus like doing a haul for every single like store. Because I feel like that's annoying. Um, but let me know what you guys prefer. Like, do you rather, if I get something, just do it in the moment. And then if I get something else, do another video. Because I feel like that's just too many videos versus like everything in one place. But that's just me though. So let me know. Um, I forget how much these were. This is like one, I forget how much these were. If it's still available. I hope it is. I, it, it, it sells out a lot. So I don't know. But yeah. The thing about me, I'm always going to find a dupe. And if I find it, I'm always going to buy it. And this... If you've watched, again, if you're not new on this channel, the OGs, they know. Um, I already have a version of this in cream, I think. And I saw this in green and I said I have to have it. I'm sorry. I just, I had no say. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do this, okay? Blame Mango. If you know, you know, this is a dupe of the Totem coat. Um, I just, I don't know what else to say. If you're someone who you prefer the totem, I would say get it. If you're someone who you're very indifferent, you just want to, you just want the look for less. This is the look for way less. I think it was like one ninety nine. The totem is I don't know like I've seen it for nine hundred. I've seen it for a thousand. I mean, in my eyes, I've saved like at least nine hundred dollars. So, girl math, okay, girl math. Um, actually, this one I will try on. This is so nice. This is just perfect. I think this is perfect. Um, this is, it's in green. Green is one of my favorite colors. I, this is like literally a warm hug. This is a warm hug. If you're feeling lonely for the holidays and you, you know, you need a hug, get this coat. That's, I guess a jacket, whatever. Get this jacket. Get it. Just come, 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 come. Get this jacket. Get it. Get this jacket. God, this is so good so stunning i feel i mean obviously i'm like super layered right now so i feel so warm and cozy oh my god i'm about to take a nap and also it has pockets it has functional as a girl you know the struggle of something that doesn't have pockets or it, it looks like it has pockets but it's not actually functional pockets oh no these pockets are functional yeah they they're, they're functional in here for sure for sure for sure i don't actually i don't want to hype it up and then it sucks so i'm not gonna say nothing but essentially get this get this get this Get it, get it, get into it, get into it. Whatever you want to do, just get the damn, get the gem jackets, get it. Moving on to the final, final thing from this haul. Whew. Girl, I need some water. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Oh, I didn't see you there. Oops. Hi. In these words, do you see this coat? Do you see this coat? <laughs> I don't think you do. I don't think you see this coat. I don't think you understand this coat. Right here. I feel like I need to like stand back all the way back. Hopefully you guys can 
get into it? Can you get into, I'm gonna, can you get into this? Like this moment, it's a moment. We're having a moment. This, this is a moment. This coat, now, now, first of all, it doesn't need to eat with this. I'm not even dressed up for like this coat. Do you see how, like I didn't, I'm not even dressed up for this coat and this coat eats. This coat, I wanna say it's like a very nice, almost dupe of the YSL, the famous one, the one with the large shoulder pads, oversized one. Yes, if you want something in that family, this is, this is the coat for way less. I think that coat is upwards of 10K or like at least upwards of $9,000, United States dollars, okay? Upwards of nine United States, $1,000, not $9. If it was $9, I get it. Um, this is from the Frankie shop. This is actually supposed to be, it's labeled as a trench coat. I understand why it's labeled as a trench coat because I guess like the lapels and kind of like how it, you know, just the length and everything. Material wise, this is not trench coat material. So if you're like someone who really wants a trench coat, this is not it. She's not it for you, okay? If you're like, you want a tr like a true, true trench coat, this is not it. If you want the YSL dupe, cause the shoulder pads and the length, cause I don't know if you guys are picking up the length. The length, this, I am five foot five and a half. Remember that. And I got this in a medium. I could have got in a small, but you know what? It hits just at like the base of my ankle. So like I'm covered. If I had went any larger, this would be sleep, sweeping the floor, which honestly no one wants. So um, this, I would say they don't, the sizing is not like weight sizing. It's more so like height sizing. So I'm five foot five and a half. I got in a medium low key. I want to get it in. A, I would feel like I should have gotten a small, but I'm also hiking, not mad in this medium. So I love it. As you can still see, like I still have like, um, like the wrappings around the buttons and everything. And, but I'm not taking it out until like, I'm actually like my first day wearing it. And I'm going to, I'm going to travel on this. Of course I am, but I am so sorry, but this coat eats, this coat eats. And I, I need to give you guys a little context. I live in California. It never gets cold for me enough for me to wear this. It doesn't, I, well, not really. Like I can get away with wearing almost any other coat or jacket. This is not a necessity. However, I still got it. You know why? Cause I, cause I need it. Cause I need it. I need it in my closet. Um, this is an investment piece. I think it was like 600 and something. I can't remember how much it was, but I wouldn't, this is from the Frankie shop. If I haven't made that clear right away, this is from the Frankie shop. I wouldn't say buy it from the Frankie shop directly, the website, um, probably like buy it from like another retailer that sells um, the Frankie shop clothing only because I think it's slightly more expensive, just slightly, not insanely like $500 more, not that. It's just slightly more expensive on the website versus like if you got it from like matches or like my Teresa. So it depends on if you want to save or not. Anyway, essentially, I feel like this, this coat, it needs like a big body Birkin. It, it, like, it just requires, you know, it's giving that. This is not giving like, this is not giving cheap. This is giving expensive. It's giving a luxury. It's giving, I don't know, it's giving like, I don't know, I'm like a fashion editor. It's giving I own a brownstone. It's, I feel like, honestly, this is the coat manifestation of my dreams there you go this is this is it and i would wear this i would the way i would style this oof. okay so you know what the day i wear this i would do a silent video just because it just this gives this eats i love it and that's all i can say so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh actually let me just without like the waist tie detail because i was like i had to tie it on the waist without the waist tie it just opens up like so. Um, it has buttons on the side, so if I wanted to button it across, I could, but I probably wouldn't. Anyway, I, I probably wouldn't use it. And obviously it has pockets, it has deep pockets, functional pockets. Again, girl problems, we love a good deep functional pocket. So yeah, and also this is like, this covers all the way to like, I don't know if you guys can see, so it's like this. So yeah, I'm fully covered head to toe and it's so comfortable. It's a very thick coat, but it doesn't feel heavy. So you know those coats where like it's a heavy coat, but it kind of like weighs you down? No, it's not. It's not like a heavy coat that weighs you down. It's just, it's thick because it's a lot of material, but it doesn't like weigh you down at all. It's like, it's easy to walk in. It's, it's easy to twirl, twirl in. 
And yeah, so if you want it, you get it. Thank you, shop. It's, <laughs> I love this coat. So. Okay, if you have made it this far into this video, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys liked the pieces that I showed. Obviously, like me showing the sweats and everything else was just me. I don't know, just show you what she has, what I got. But as far as like the fashion girl stuff, the red shoes, the totem dupe, source unknown sweater, this here coat, this here coat. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys liked, what your favorite pieces are, what you would like to add to your closet. Um, what are currently things that you're actually looking at? Because maybe I can also like look at those to see, you know, no, maybe y'all are onto something. So maybe I should, yeah. So anyway, let me know what was your favorite piece that I showed from this video. I think you guys can already tell which one's my favorite. It, it is what it is. Um, and I'll see you guys next video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, obviously. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Up until then, stay loose. Bye guys.